This story all new from overnight. An additional COVID shot is now approved for certain Americans. The FDA approved booster shots for some COVID vaccines in high risk categories. This comes as the CDC gets ready to meet today to discuss further recommendations for a third shot. Joining us now to break all of this down for us is a Dr. Bruce Rankin of Excel Research Sites. Dr. Rankin, good morning and happy Friday. Good to see you. Good morning, Danielle. Good to see you. So glad you're here with us. Yeah, I'm glad you're here with us to discuss this because I know you heard it and we've heard it, right? People getting doctor's notes already to get that third shot. But under these guidelines, who will be eligible for these booster shots first? The first ones will be these immunocompromised. This is a very uh, important group because historically they don't respond to our vaccines uh, because of their immunocompromised state. So it's very important that these people get a chance to get this third booster. The trial's coming out showing now that uh, their immune response is blunted because of their immunodeficiency. And it's a very important finding to get these, uh, these groups, uh, uh, which make up about 3% of our population, uh, that booster shot. Well, let's say that that's not your situation. Should you wait for that third booster shot? And I'm asking that question because there's concern, right, about immunity fading after a period of time. Yeah, so we're looking at that in our studies. Obviously, our trials here at Excel have been going on now for a year, so we're bringing in those Moderna and Pfizer patients to look at that one-year data, and that's what we're going to have to base those boosters on. So at this time, if you're in the general population that don't meet that 3%, you need to get yourself vaccinated, and then when we get that data over the next several months, we'll have more information of when and where that third booster may be required. And you mentioned both Pfizer and Moderna, right? So if you are eligible to get this third shot, can you mix vaccines? Right now, there's no study showing mixing vaccines. So we don't have any scientific data of what happens when you mix vaccines. If boosters are approved as it is for this group, they'll be uh, vaccinated with the same vaccine they got originally. So Pfizer uh, individuals will get Pfizer uh, third dose booster and Moderna uh, will get the um, Moderna booster uh, for the third dose. And studies are ongoing looking at other groups too. So we may see more uh, uh, boosters indicated starting maybe in our elderly and most vulnerable uh, populations like we did originally when the vaccine was rolled out. So it's very possible we'll see something similar if these boosters are indicated to get it to the highest risk groups first. And so what can we expect today when the CDC meets? I don't see any you know, indication that it won't be approved. Uh, this group was excluded from our trials because we know they have a very uh, low immune response. So uh, this is a very good uh, move by the FDA and CDC to get these approved. These individuals are at high risk for any type of infection, including the COVID illness. I do want to circle back to what you said at the top about people getting vaccinated. For people who have not yet gotten vaccinated at all, what would you say to them, especially now with the Delta variant out there? You know, there's people not getting vaccinated because they had COVID illness and they're thinking that their immunity is still there. The best protection is if you had COVID illness shot last year before the vaccine and you get vaccinated now, that gives you the absolute best protection probably uh, theoretically. But if the ones that haven't been vaccinated at all, I mean, this vaccine has been around now. We have people coming back in after a year. It's been shown to be safe, highly effective, and your best protection against uh, getting COVID illness. Dr. Bruce Rankin, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Amy.